guys and what's up and welcome back to another wrap sort of backward life this time I'm in France I'm in Loyac I'm back with my European Rallycross Championship winning team ES Motorsport not in the car that I won uh, with but I'm back in Yanis's car it's the sister car of the Skoda that uh, we won the championship with but everything is similar uh, it's actually great to, to be back with uh, with the team they they have always this like very very clean awning uh, tool benches over here and there uh, flat pack with uh, where we uh, do wheel alignments and stuff like that. We got the monster claw on the bonnet. I think the cool car looks really, really cool. And I'm pumped for the weekend. Uh, the first thing we're going to do today, it's Friday. The first thing we're going to do is a parade in Loyak Centrum, which is uh, something we have been doing for all the years we've been here, which is really, really cool. Like they're so passionate about rallycross in this area. There's always a lot of vol volunteers working here. This weekend it's 700 volunteers. It stands out for itself. It's it's here and it's holiest in hell, which has the most crowd. Uh, and I think it's due to like great people working. It's cool for me to be back here and uh, race here in the French Championship. All right, so we are heading on the parade. We go on the red bus, we go through town, we say hi to fans. You're gonna see a lot of people. Uh, it's a lot of fun, like meeting the drivers, Getting some champagne and some, uh, what do you call, finger food? <laughs> food finger? I don't know. <laughs> but some food, some snacks. I like snacks. This is made for me. <laughs> B, why is Loyak so special? Uh, you know, you know why. I know why. But you, you, you from a French driver. You drove here since uh, ten years. Yeah. You know. Yeah. First of all, for the fans. Fans yeah. are incredible, crazy. But this part of France, Bretagne, uh, has a lot of like motorsport. Yes. Culture. Yes. Right. You know, Loyac is the temple of the rallycross. Yes. In France, and I, I think uh, also maybe in, in the world. In the world, yeah. For rallycross. In the parade itself, uh, I'm going with the legend Hervé Knappig. We have a jeep that we are riding. Uh, <laughs> all good? Ça va? Oui. oui. Okay. <laughs> he don't speak very much English, I can tell you that. But he's the best guy on planet Earth. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, not only that, but uh, there is 700 people that is volunteer here uh, around Patrick, around the club, around uh, Loyak as a town. It's so beautiful to see so many people here. Um, it makes uh, Rallycross very special for us drivers. So very, very happy to be here uh, and uh, to see so many fans. And to kick off the weekend, we're gonna do a little launch test. There's been a while since I've been in this car. Actually, I've never driven this car because it's Janis Bermanis' car, but uh, I haven't driven the Skoda since we won the European Championship in Spa last year, the 10th of October, which is easy to remember because it was my birthday. I love this car. It looks so good and so clean and, and nice. So. Uh, it's gonna be, be nice to get a few starts in and to get the feeling. Uh, it's not too long ago since I drove a fuel car in hell with Audi. Uh, the start procedure is pretty much similar, so we're gonna give it a go. All right, so I'm with the, the legend, uh, Herve Knappig, and he's serving me oyster. For those of you that don't that know me, I don't eat fish or anything below sea level. Some shrimp, yes. Something. No, 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 no,
All right, the streets of uh, Loyak look very different in the morning than they did during the parade here. Uh, we're heading to the track, myself and Tommy. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah? Yes. You woke up with a smile? Yes. Like myself? Tonight, yeah. that, uh, that track there is going to be, uh, that, or the trailer, is going to be a concert place. We going? Definitely we need going to decide to now. To see. <laughs> All right. If you're P, 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 uh, top three of top night, three. we're going. All right. All right. <laughs> Deal. It's uh, this little town as well. It's super cozy. It's super nice. Like, I, I never stay here in this area when I uh, do the race here normally. Uh, I stay like half an hour away. So uh, to be able to walk uh, or wake up in the hotel in the morning and then hike to the track is uh, actually magnificent. Hi. You see what I see? Hello. What's your name? Uh, Pierre. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, this box looks amazing. The RX Cartel logo and uh, hashtag snack road on the side <laughs> with the with the pattern inside. It's this is awesome. Laser etching. Laser etching. Yeah. This is cool. This is really really cool. From France. From France. From, yes. And well, M&M's is not really from France. Nah, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, that's a winner, right? No, the M&M's is the sweet part because yeah. uh, that's peanuts. Yeah. Uh, with chili. Oh, with chili. Chili. Yes. Really, really chili. Really chili. Yeah. I think you, you will enjoy it, but yeah. you might you might cry a little. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's strong. It's, 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 I've had these before, and they, <laughs> they are very sour. It will make your tongue blue. Blue? Yeah, oh, so yeah, if, right. you have, uh, if you have interviews, you can yeah, yeah, <laughs> eat yeah. one and it will be blue. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it home and have it uh, also <laughs> the, in my office. All right, so uh, warm up uh, or practice. We're getting ready for practice. Car is here, I'm here. I have a new sticker from Cooper Tire. We always use Cooper Tires in the World Championship, European Championship. But the compound here is harder, so the car is probably gonna slide a bit more. But I like that. I think the fans like sliding. I don't know how much tires will be important in this race like in the world championship but we will see and i'm like right awake and it's nine ten past nine nine so it's early in the morning which is crazy to me <laughs> A thing here in France is that the, so the practice finished like around 11. The next thing we're doing is Q1, which is at 1.50. We're enjoying some lunch. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. This is really cool. I, I love small cars. Like I was playing with cars until I was like 16 years old. So. Alright guys, so just uh, back on uh, Sunday here uh, from Loic, uh, did a warm up where we finished third. I think I explained to you guys what happened in Q1, but uh, in Q1 uh, <laughs> there was two starts. First, the first start my car was kind of creeping in the start. We got the green flag and I went, but it got red flagged and we had to stop uh, and redo the start again. I was sure I jump started, so normally in the World Championship you get two times the Joker. So I felt that I had to do two times Joker. In the restart, since I thought I was the jump starter, I had a rocket uh, launch, got up to P1, did two laps uh, original uh, line, and then I did two la times the Joker lap, finished P1 in the heat, and uh, was number one overall still, which was insane. Uh, but it's not allowed to take the Joker twice. Uh, even though it doesn't benefit me anything, it was slower. Uh, we still got penalized with a disqualification, which gives you zero points. So currently, after Q2, uh, where I finished three, um, we are 23rd overall. Top 16 goes through to the semi-final, so it's very important today that we, we get a good launch and we get to drive for ourselves up front and put in a P1. Uh, I think it's a long shot to win here in Loyak now. Uh, Yuri Belevsky is looking very, very fast, so... But it's not over before the fat lady sings, so uh, we take it like it is, and uh, everything can happen in Rallycross. All right, so, so um, actually in the lunch, we went back to the hotel, had a little pony nap, 
heading back onto the track now. Sun is shining, probably 26 degrees. That's freaking awesome because in Norway we don't have this weather, or in Bergen where I live, we haven't had 26 degrees all year this summer. So having this in September is, is so nice. Dude, it's so freaking warm in the car, but it feels, uh, free, feels pretty nice. We started P4 in the semi-final, ended P2. Which I, I, to be honest, I don't know where we're gonna start in the final, but we're up there, we're up there, and we have a chance uh, of uh, succeeding, so we take that. Um, car feels great. We had a very good speed, so we're gonna keep on fighting, and uh, hopefully we can challenge uh, Yuri Belevsky and Fabian Paye in the final. That's the, that's the target. I got the news I'm starting P4 in the final, uh, which will make this final very challenging, because. There's not much for me to do there. Um, I need to be able to get up to at least P2 after turn one and two to be able to challenge uh, Yuri. He has very good speed, so it's going to be a challenge, but there's seven laps. In the semi-final, I also got soft brakes, uh, so a bit worried about the brakes, but should should be fine. Yes. Yes. All right, so all right, so we just finished the final. There was not much to do. I was like P4, Joker on my own, not Tommy's fault. I Joker there, and you know it was chaos everywhere. I think we had two overtakes. Very clean, awesome fights. I couldn't catch up to Yuri. I had a little bit of speed on him, but I had to over push. So all in all, great result. P2 here, amazing. I love uh, France. I love Loyac. Ah, it was a great, great weekend. Thank you to Patrick Ame, ES Motorsport, Loic Rallycross, all our partners. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Backward Life. Until next time, flat out.